Hey guys, we're going to learn a new concept today. So I want everybody to watch as I build this word. Try to tap it out and say it in your head as I'm building it. Okay, let's tap that out. Shop. Shop. That's the word shop, right? Now, what happens if I put this on the end? What's my word now? Shop becomes shops. That's right. And I'm going to take this. This is our yellow syllable frame. And whoops. And I'm going to put that over top of the other S because this shows us that we have a base. And then a suffix. A suffix goes on the end of a base word. Okay. And in this case, S is our suffix. So if I have shop, okay, I have shop. I'll put this back too. So I have shop. Everybody hold up the number of fingers. How many am I talking about here? Shop. That's just talking about what? One, right? Absolutely. Our suffix S is a plural suffix. It means there is more than one shop. Okay? So that's how we do it. Now I want you to watch because we have this word shop. But I want to show you another word. I want you to tap it out while I'm building it. Hopefully you can read it by the time I'm done building it. Let's read that word. Ready? B, -ug -g, bug. So bug, now if I end my, add this to it, bug becomes bugs. What? Bugs. But that's an S. Guess what? Suffix S has two sounds. It can say S and it can say Z. Okay? So it can say s and it can say z. So shops, bugs. And a base word always comes first and then the suffix. So whenever you guys see these big yellow suffix tiles, you always want to read everything in front of it first, then add the suffix. So if I were reading this word, I would read shop and then I would say shops. Everybody do that with me, ready? Shop, shops. Let's move over and do it over here. Bug, bugs. Everybody do that with me? Bug, bugs. So I want you to get used to reading the words, the base, and then adding your yellow suffix, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna read some words and you guys are gonna have to tell me whether it makes the s sound or the z sound, okay? So you're going to have to tell me whether it makes the s or the z. Oh, good. Apparently when I pull them down, they just go away. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to make the word, you guys are going to read it, and then you're going to tell me whether it makes the s or the z. We already did shop and we did bugs. So now I got this word. You should be reading it as I'm building it. Tapping it out. We're going to practice reading the base first and then adding the suffix. So we're going to stop right here, right there. Read the base first. Ready? D -o -c, doc. So doc becomes docs. Who can tell us whether this is me, the suffix s is making the s or the z sound? That's right, it makes the s sound. All right, let's try another one. So my next word is, Tap it out as I write it.
Let's tap this one out. Ready? D -og dog. So that's our base. Now we're going to add our suff suffix, and dog becomes dogs. Raise your hand and tell me whether suffix s says s or z. That's right, it says z. Now I'm going to make another word. You know what? I should have just left those other words up there. Tap it out as I'm making it. This time I'm going to add suffix x right on it. <clears throat> We're gonna read, remember, just the base. Then we'll read it a second time and add the suffix. Ready? P -et. Pet becomes pets. Who can raise their hand and tell us rather suffix s says s or z in this word? That's right, suffix s says s in the word pet. I have one last word. Try to tap it out and read it as I'm building it. I'm gonna add my suffix X, S. Remember, we're gonna add, read our base, then a second time with our suffix S. Ready? P -e -n. Pen. Pen becomes pens. Raise your hand and tell me suffix X is S is making an S or a Z sound. That's right. In pens, it makes the Z sound. So you know what? When you're spelling a word, if you need to figure out whether it's talking about more than one, if it's more than one and you hear Z, it's going to be S, not Z. Okay? So dogs and pens and bugs means more than one. Remember, suffix X is a plural, and plural means there's more than one of something, okay? Awesome job. Now we're gonna talk about how to mark them. So let's look at how to mark our words. When we have a suffix S, we want to make sure that we are starting with underlining our base word. So our base word is bug, and then we add our suffix, bugs. So we underline our base and we circle our suffix. That way we know to read the base first and then add the suffix. So we read it like bug, bugs. Everybody do that with me, ready? Bug, bugs. Good job. Let's look at this one. Hit, hits. So we saw the S, so you'd circle the S, you'd underline the base, you read the base first, hit, hit becomes hits. Now we have these two words, hits and bugs. We talked about underlining the base and circling the suffix. Watch what we're gonna do. So we have that. Now we're gonna mark above it, rather it says the or the z sound. Somebody remind me, hits. Is that a s or a z? That's right, it's the s sound. What about bugs? Bugs. Somebody remind me, rather, bugs says s or z. That's right, it says the z sound. I'm gonna show you something really cool. See those slanted brackets? When you see those, that means sound. That doesn't mean the letter S. That doesn't mean the letter Z. It sounds for S and Z. That's how we write it. So hits is marked with the base underline hit, circling the suffix S. And then we put above it that we knew it made the S sound. Then for bugs, we underlined the base. We circled suffix S, and above it, we put the Z sound because that's the sound it makes, okay? Now, um, you guys are going to do a couple things in your student notebook. When you have time, there's a couple pages you're going to go to. You're going to go to page five. This is something you guys can do at home. 
outside of class time. These are the two sounds s makes. It makes s, whoops, other side. It makes, and it makes z. Okay, snake and bugs. So from now on, when you guys see the letter S in drill sound warm up, you need to say s and z. Okay? So that's the first thing you're going to do. Then you're going to go to page 22 and 23. And right here, you're going to write rocks. And you're going to write bugs. And then up here, you're going to write bugs where it tells you bug plus S equals. Okay? So rocks and bugs go here and bugs goes here. Your teacher will help you get that done when it's time for you guys to do it. Great job today, friends.